change. We have to live with that reality. And clients understand that. Okay, Bala, you know, since we are again sticking to slightly controversial questions, I want to understand there has been a concern and we have understood this from clients as well. We have understood this from people in the industry that old hands at Infosys are walking out. What then is left currently? Who are the people right now that are capable of running the show? And, you know, just taking from that, any CEO contenders that you can name for us, be it B.G. Srinivasan, be it Chandrasekhar Kakal, be it Praveen Rao, no, that is again outside view. In fact, uh, two days back, I was in Infosys BPO. We gave mementos of some 30 people who spent more than 10 years in the company. As you know, BPO is only 11 years old. So a lot of people, extraordinary people who have spent a lot of time in the company, still there. It's not that everybody has gone out. So it's more an outside view. It's not an internal view. Okay, Bala, you said that senior people have been hired. Could you tell us some of the senior management executives that have been hired? How many have been hired? Because, you know, the exits that have happened have not been at the mid-level area. You know, this has been senior exits, seven if I'm correct. Uh, can you name some of the senior management positions that have been, you know, introduced in Infi? No, no, that you have to ask the company. They will give you a big list. Uh, you were with so the company till a short <laughs> while ago, Bala. Maybe till today, hours. till today. So you are technically the company even now, aren't you? No, no, it's a big company. We hire a lot of people. We can't remember each and every name. No, I think, I think what Pritika is trying to ask you is, can you help us understand whether Infosys is able to fill these vacancies from people within and who those people within could be or from people outside and who those people outside could be? Because these are vacancies that need to be filled. No, no, look. The CEO change is going to happen somewhere in the beginning of 2015. And uh, the board is cognizant of that. They are looking at uh, a lot of candidates internally. And they will come to a conclusion at the right time. You will know that. But all I can say is, Infosys has got good leadership talent. <laughs> there is a lot of leadership bandwidth, which will take the slack and run. I don't think uh, external world should be concerned about it. That's all I'm saying. Bala, how can you expect us not to be concerned, or rather investors not to be concerned, because you are the second CFO now at least former CFO, who is leaving Infosys because personal ambitions are not being met within the company. Mohan no, left no. for pretty much the same reasons, didn't he? <laughs> no, no. Everybody has got the right to get concerned. I can only uh, address their concerns. They have to get satisfied. So, I can't go beyond that. You mentioned we when you were talking about your private equity venture. Could you, uh, do you have partners in this? Could you take us through or talk to us a little bit more about what you intend to do in the future so that we're fully convinced that you left only because you want to be in PE and not because you don't want to be in Infosys? No, four of us are joining and starting that fund. Among us, by me, uh, Girish Parangpe and uh, Deepak Glaciers. So we are starting that fund. It's a 100 to 125 crores fund. Uh, it will invest in uh, uh, small startup companies, either as an angel funding or a first round uh, kind of funding. We are waiting for SEBI's approval. We should come in January, February. Then we'll get actionized. What did Mohan have to say about your, uh, you know, leaving Infosys uh, to join him in this private equity fund? No, I have not uh, met him and told him about that. I'll meet him and tell him. <laughs> but he's a partner in the fund, right? So he would know that you are, you'd have to leave Infosys to be able to do this, right? Yeah, he's a partner in the fund, not a partner in my life. <laughs> but, but a quick question, I just want to understand, you know, what is what is the current sense within employees right now? Have you referred to your team? Have you spoken to your team? And, you know, a sense that we had gotten when Ashok Memori put in his papers and left for iGate, several people, we understand, have left Infosys and joined iGate. Can we assume that you would possibly want to take your team along with you, any, any specific people along with you? No, no, no. We will never do all that. Uh, if people on their own violation join any company, you can't stop them. But that is unethical to do, so I don't think I'll be doing this. How, how have employees reacted uh, to your exit? Because you have played a senior mentor role for several people. And, you know, I'm talking about the mid-management level as well. How have people reacted to this? Because the last time Ashok Vimuri put in his papers, there was a lot of concern amongst employees as well. Have you spoken to employees so far? No, I have only spoken to some of my direct reports. Uh, they all understand what I'm trying to do. Of course, they are they are uh, disappointed, but that is a way of life. I mean, 
Well, uh, you know, uh, I'll reiterate a question I asked you on top. Where and how do you see Info Infosys' transformation process progress from here onwards without some stalwarts like you and Vemuri and, uh, and a bunch of others who left? But well, how do you assess this transformation process and where it is in the cycle right now? Well, I think uh, uh, organization is always big. People come and go. Of course, a few leaders are very important. But at the same time, there are enough leadership talent within Infosys to take it to next level. So it is not uh, proper to say that... I'm not Infosys only not talking about the exits. I'm also talking about the fact that there is an overhauling of Infosys going on as we speak, right? And, and you would be privy to that overhauling. So I'm just asking you to assess for me, now that you have some degree of objectivity, on where you see Infosys in that process of transforming itself and maybe attempting to return to leadership position. No, no, the, the, whole, the whole process is done because we want to return to leadership position. So if we are to attain that, there will always be some collateral damage which you have to live with. Otherwise, you can never uh, go there. So I think uh, Infos is doing all the right moves, taking the right, uh, uh, making the right changes. So I think it will all uh, see fruits in the years to come. There's no point in getting worried about that because then you can't make a change. What is this collateral damage that you're referring to? No, some people will always leave when you, when you make a change. You have to live with that. And those people don't include you because you're leaving for other reasons? Well, everybody has left for uh, different reasons. Uh, when the world outside sees it, they link all that together. That's why I'm saying it's an external view. But all I'm saying is, you have to assume when you make a large change, some people will leave. You have to live with that and move on. How is that change working out for Infosys? Where in that cycle is Infosys? Is the question I'm trying to put to you. Well, Muthi already said that it's a three-year journey. And uh, he started the process. I mean, he's, he came into the board six months back. So we had to give him some time. You don't think that Infosys's credibility, uh, you know, as a top IT company or its brand uh, or its business will suffer because of these long, these, these big top management exits that we've seen? I don't think so. Not even in the short term? I don't think so. Bala, have you spoken to clients so far? And what they read of this? No, okay. Clients understand that. Uh, their communication would have gone by now. Clients understand that. So, But, you know, at a time when clients are restructuring spends, are cutting down on spends, they want familiar faces. And that has been proven over the last six years within, IT, within the IT sector. At all, would this be a concern for the clients that you are talking to? Have they spoken to you? Have they said anything specifically? Or, you know, or, or rather, what really have you sp said to them currently? You know, look, clients, we always have multiple layers of relationships. It's not only one person which is a client facing. We always have multiple layers of uh, relationships. So that will continue. If somebody goes, there are other people who can continue the relationship. So I don't think that will get impacted because of all this. All right, Bala, this is an unfortunate day. We appreciate you speaking to us, even though I know it is an important and busy time for you. Uh, I, I suppose we will miss you in all the boardrooms that we've had you in, and, and therefore the boardrooms will be that much the poorer for that. But all the best with all your new plans, and I do hope that we'll be able to speak to you again in a few months from now for more Thank on you. that. Thank you very Thank much for your time. Thank you. Well, that was V. Balakrishnan, uh, I think, what, the seventh or eighth senior management eighth senior exit. Management exit. What a Infosys. day it's been, Minka. It's well, it's <laughs> been a busy news day, but it's been a difficult day for Infosys. Let's